Hello. I'm going to explain how to check the transmission fluid level on a 10 speed 10R80 transmission. This is an F150 2020 model. The first thing you're going to want to do, because ULV, the transmission fluid that they're using in this transmission, expands a lot when it heats up, you're going to need to get it to the specified operating temperature to check it. Um, that is 206 to 215 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm, I'm going to get it close to 200. That's that's always been close enough, but uh, 206 to 215. If you have a transmission temperature uh, pit on your cluster here, use that. If you don't, you can look at the uh, transmission temperature dial. Uh, that, that's kind of a rough estimate there, but it should be straight up um, or you know close to being right in the middle there And uh, that should get you close enough, but if you want to be sure get, and you don't have this display here Go get your cheap scan tool that's capable of reading pit information such as transmission temperature With the transmission at correct temperature go ahead and get underneath the vehicle leave it running the engine running idling and park once again park come down below on the right side the passenger side of the transmission you'll see this this is the check plug on the transmission it's a 19 millimeter head I use a wrench I get on it with the wrench and um, you push this way to loosen it if you're having trouble you can get a uh, a hammer and tap the end of the wrench lightly to kind of nudge it loose um, you're not going to hurt that but uh, be mindful just don't strip it out or anything also do be mindful it's going to be very hot under here there's a catalytic converter right here so what I recommend put a glove on and also get a, a shop rag or something similar be very careful around that converter. I'm loosening the plug. Try not to burn yourself, it's dangerous. Okay, um, it's loosened. Put the rag aside. I'm going to reach up there with my fingers like that and pull Ow, ow, pull this out. Sorry for the finger in the camera. Separate the dipstick from the plug. Wipe the dipstick. Get it, get it clean. Okay, it's clean. Get a good measurement with it that way. Stick it in. Okay, it's in there as far as it'll go. And pull it back out. Okay. I'm going to need to add fluid. It needs to be between the three and five numbers. Let me get you a better look. If possible, I'm going to get you a better look. Okay, you can see the numbers. Three to five is the range. Um, starts with six at the bottom, then five, four, three, two, and and uh, one at the top there. So once you get it to three to five, you'll be in the correct range and you're done. Now, if you're wondering how you're going to get fluid in there, this is what I use. It's a Mighty Vac fluid exchange pump. You uh, take this off and fill it, the fluid in there and you pump it and it comes through here. Um, there's probably cheaper alternatives. Just uh, look around and see what works for you. If I find something that's suitable for this, I'll put a link in the description. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. I have a lot of other car repair videos and tips for Fords and motorcycles and power sports. Have a nice day. 
do need to make one correction here. It's not three to uh, five. It's six, uh, five to six. Okay. Now, if you, I also want to point out, if you do have the letters instead of the numbers, you get it in the B range. B, right there. Apologize for the confusion there. Have a nice day.